What's going on, saviors? GH here. Today I'm gonna be doing a quick guide on subclasses. We're gonna be doing this one by one, starting with Hunter. And with that said, let's do this. Okay, what's the best subclass for Hunter? It's either Force or Gunner. Now, I said Force because it's always a good option no matter what play style because it gives eradication pp gain that will help you get more pp when enemies die near you it's very useful in psc burst then there's pp recovery boost that helps you recover pp but only when not moving or just walking and then pp conversion that gives you a burst of pp recovery for 30 seconds and here is my force subclass skill tree now i also chose gunner because it gives attack pp recovery which helps you easily recover pp when attacking and as a hunter you will be attacking to recover pp and gunner also has overwhelm which helps you recover a bit of pp when mobbing and then finally if your subclass is gunner it will give you access to assault rifle photon orcs and it has homing darts which is great to use in mobbing and here is my gunner subclass skill tree now fighters what's the best subclass for fighters First that comes into mind is Gunner because it gives attack PP recovery that will help you recover PP when attacking enemies. And since fighters are very aggressive, attack PP recovery can be much more beneficial. And of course, it will also give you access to assault rifle photon arts that has homing darts which is great to use in mobbing. Force is also good because it gives eradication PP gain that will help you get more PP when enemies die near you. It's very useful in PSE burst. Then there's PP recovery boost that helps you recover PP but only when not moving or just walking. And then PP conversion that gives you a burst of PP recovery for 30 seconds. And here's my 4 subclass 3. Now, Rangers. What's the best subclass for Ranger? Force is certainly the best class for Ranger because Force can help greatly in replenishing your PP with the use of PP recovery boost. Because unlike the other classes, Rangers benefits from natural PP recovery much more because it can recover PP when charging a launcher normal attack. And of course, eradication PP gain will help with recovering PP when mobbing. And Force also gives PP conversion that can help even more for recovering PP. And then aside those, Force can also use rods that has the ability to parry and counter attack. And here is my Force subclass skill tree. Another good option is Fighter because it can maximize your damage output through the use of its skills called Defeat Advantage that gives additional damage to downed enemies and aside that, Fighter as a subclass can also give you a pretty good counter attack that gives you longer damage immunity when you're successful in counter attacking. All of the Fighter weapons can counter attack and make you immune to damage while it's active but I suggest using Knuckles for longer damage immunity. And here is my Fighter subclass 3 for Knuckles and if you're using the other weapons, just allocate the Knuckles skills to the ones you like. Now, Gunner. What's the best subclass for Gunner? It's Force. Because of its PP recovery skills, if you play Gunner, you've noticed that Gunner chugs up a lot of PP just to keep Chain Trigger up. And obviously, Force will help greatly in many ways. I tried all the combinations and nothing helped Gunner other than Force. And here is my Force subclass skill tree. Now, Force. What's the best subclass for Force? It's Tector. Because as an elemental attacker or technique user, You'll be casting elemental attacks, and Tector can help you build up your Photon Blast Gauge much faster when casting elemental attacks, assuming you're attacking with the element the target enemy is weak against. And here is my Tector subclass skill tree. Now, Tector. What's the best subclass for Tector? My first pick is Gunner, because it gives you attack PP recovery, which helps you easily recover PP when you're attacking. And it also allows you to use assault rifles that can use homing darts, which is great to use in mobbing. And here is my gunner subclass 3 for Tector. Now I know you're gonna ask, why not Force as your first pick? It's because there's a lot of similarities between them or abilities that Tector can do and Force can also do it. Like the weapon they use and the techniques they cast. But Force is also good because of its PP recovery skill and if you're interested in Force as a subclass for your Tector, here is my Force subclass skill tree. And that's my guide for the best subclass at the moment. I will be doing another one if more content are added in the game. And as always, like it if you like the video, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.